This is Sir Tap Tap and Sir Ramak, who's a copycat. Deal with it. <laughs> and we're gonna be playing Pixel Junk Monster Shooter too. God. We're not yeah, Pixel Monsters, just Pixel Junk Shooter. It burns! I don't like it. Mine. with control so I don't kill these guys like I just did several seconds ago. That's the control. Oh god. No. Why do I have rapid fire? Oh, I think you just... Did you save those guys or did you kill them? I saved them. Oh. And then I died. Oh. Alright, we need to get the gems too. I forgot about the diamonds. <clears throat> well, I grabbed the one. There's another one at the bottom. Yeah, in this game there are diamonds that you collect that are basically your... You know, your 100% completion criteria. Okay, I got that one. And I forget which one... Well, what, what happened is I played this game to death a long time ago. Um, and then I happened to play it... Don't die. What did I just say? My bad. Um, so I played this game in the brief period between my last... My fat PS3's last backup and... Um, period of time where it died, so I I don't think I 100 percent completed it, but I mostly completed this game. And then my P first PS3 got the yellow light of death. And then Yeah, all the save data is gone, so we're gonna try and go back through it and make it a co-op let's play because why not? Of course. Also poison. Poison and death, ouch. Son of a bitch. And this game has a pretty unique health system. You have like a cooldown, so like when you get poisoned, you'll notice that your gauge slowly fills up with poison. Uh, other stuff will fill up that gauge with heat, which is yellow and red. And other stuff just kills you. Like contact generally kills you instantly. And stuff like missiles or lava will kill you instantly. And an inter interesting um, current of events. Getting close to lava actually slowly fills up your heat gauge. Which is a nice touch, because being near lava is also fatal. But most games are like, you know, if you touch lava, it's bad. But if you go, you know, near lava, which is also lethal, ah. you're just fine. Ah. Nope. Because lava turn. only Quick gets turn. touch damage. Also, these little guys, it can sometimes be very tempting to shoot them. But you don't want to do that for 100% completion. Still fun to shoot, though. Yes. Get this gem. No, give me the gem. Let me out of here. Also, it gives you that nice little timer whenever you're about to die horribly. Damn it. Oops, that's yeah, you, we need to collect or kill all the little guys to exit the level. Um, and the way lives work. Um, if that little there's a little meter in the bottom right, ah. oh, you also can't leave the level if you're poisoned in this map. Uh, if we kill too many of the little space guys, we get a game over and we have to restart the level, which, which is annoying. annoying. I think I get caught by the, that thing every time. Ooh, I that was close. This level. Well, I was already in. Even if you got poisoned, it wouldn't matter. Also, these little star points give you extra lives, oh. um, which are useful to... An extra life will basically erase um, one of those strikes, you know, when you kill somebody. Of course. And since we're a co-op, as long as one of us is still alive, um, we can continue playing, and then the other will respawn, which is a pretty big advantage in co-op, which is kind of nice because in lots of games, co-op is actually significantly harder because, you know, if you share we'll lives, go. you're basically two hitboxes instead of one. But in this game, it's pretty much only to your benefit. And there are actually some levels that are much more fun or much more strategic because of... You get these suits, at least in the first one. You would get these suits, and one player would get one suit and one would get the other. And they get that, that makes some of the gameplay very fun. And there's also lots of killing each other with the suits, which is also very fun. Indeed. Like, there's one sh there's one suit that shoots lava, so y you know how we use that. You already know. Um, and then there's one that shoots water, which is surprisingly fun. And then there's, the, like, there's this, like, reverse magnet. It's hard to describe that one. But, like, it, there's this evil magnet goo, and it repels the goo. You know, wait to let the lava go down the hole first, I mean. Wait, don't go down. 
Of course not. There's at least one gem there. I'm not sure there's a visible way to tell when you have all the gems in the level. Like, outside of the level, you can tell when you have all the gems. It gives you a counter. But I'm not sure there's a way to be like, oh, okay, we can move on because we have all the gems now. Ow. Some are a lot better hidden than you'd think. Yeah, this one's been pretty obvious so far. Yeah. Ooh, jellyfish. Again, it is the first world. Also, Bye. if you, um... If you hold down the attack button, you charge up and do a shooting attack. You, like, shoot the homing missiles. Missiles for everyone. And that... Um, oh, God. Basically, you have infinite missiles, but it, it heats you up like that. Which is, And once you're hot enough, you can't shoot anymore. But if you're underwater, you can shoot forever. And this is one of the more unusual mechanics. When you go on this bubble stuff, you spin, and you Whee! lose, like, 90% of your control. Also, they have these special little spaceman guys you collect. Molten metal stuff. like a milkshake. <laughs> Does it bring all the boys to the yard? The, all of the molten metal boys. Best kind. Ugh. Yeah, the scientists. Let's go. I think the scientists are there for something. Oh shit! I forgot we could do this. Oh yeah, you grab on. That's how you're supposed to do these things. You grab onto them and then you Whee! spin. It's a pretty interesting mechanic. I still have no idea why the bubbles control you the way they do. But... Damn it! And you can also move your direction slightly. You lose like. 90% of your ability to control, but not all of it. Aha. Oh, I didn't see that one. Mine. Also, you can shoot these to pop them, but generally not useful. Also, anytime you see conspicuous dirt, you probably want to shoot it just because it might have stuff in it. Usually, Smoosh. diamonds. No, no, little guy, come here. Thank you. Actually, the ones in bubbles are invincible, so you don't need to worry about those. I was, wasn't sure if the water was gonna. Oh god, that's acid. Yep. Oh yeah, and there are a bunch of fluids in this game. Um, it's really pixel junk physics more than shooter almost. There are different fluids, Ow. like there's water and there's acid, and they have different interactions. So when water hits lava, um, just wait for a geyser. I know. So when water hits lava, it turns into dirt. Um, but when water hits this bubble stuff, it turns into acid. And there are various other interactions. Also, these guys explode into more acid. There are other enemies that explode into lava, which is very nasty. Also, every level exit is on the is like a wall, like that one. It's you know it's in the background instead of on the side of the level. So that's how you know you're gonna end the uh, world or level, whatever you want to call it. Oh god, you son of a bitch! Yeah, and sometimes when you're going back for the home stretch, new enemies spawn. Nope, water, that's water. That's a trick. Wee. And only one of us has to make it to the exit. Ha, huh, I got more diamonds. Suck it. <laughs> you went ahead, too. I saved all of the guys. Well, not all of them. But... Oh, yeah, that's how you know. When you get all of the gems, you get a bonus gem. Ah, sad day. We missed one or two somewhere. No, we didn't. We got a perfect. We got a perfect for the guys. We missed oh. three gems. I think there's a bonus for getting the gems, too. So. Okay, so we missed two gems somewhere. Yeah. Doesn't matter. We, we don't need those right now, anyway. Oh, and it doesn't show you how many there are until you beat them, so... Do we want to make an omelet? Or do we want to... Crystalsis. <laughs> Let's make an omelet. I mean, I hate eggs, but... <laughs> I'm down for making omelets. As the name implies, this one has eggs! And bugs. I hate bugs. You're not sure what the bugs... No. I think what the bugs nope, do. nope. Give me the gem. I know we... The bugs do something, don't they? 
Also, picking up the little star coins uh, heals you. Like, it cools you down, rather. These are eggs. They constantly grow until you kill all of them, which can make them very annoying. Also, touching them hurts. Oh, yes, it very much does. So you basically want to clear out the eggs, or they're a big pain in the butt. And when water touches the eggs, they hatch into these bee things. I don't think the bees are... Uh, these things suck. These are insta-kill. Oh god. Yeah, so what you want... This little guy. That's like a water fruit or something. The best kind of fruit. But these spawn... No, lava fruit is the best kind of fruit, actually. That's true. Yeah, these basically let you spawn infinite amount of water into this level. Um, so, of course, they're pretty rare. And... Always necessary, more or less, in a level where nope, they are. need more water. Oh god. So yeah, and this one is basically impossible to sap all of these eggs unless you do it really early on. But you can just spill water over, and you can just... The eggs sound them. really unhappy. Yeah, they can deal with it. There you go. Grab another fruit. Why? Oh, I can get through this. I don't die. I would need to anyway. Alright. Oops. Ooh. Uh, uh oh. Nom 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 nom. You could eat Pac Man now. Uh oh, we both get a suit anyway. Yeah, this lets you eat through this stuff. Um, you're basically forced to get it in these levels because there's no way to get through this stuff otherwise. Heh. <laughs> also, it. Um, rocks can crush you or enemies. You just eat down in these levels. So it's not as what we want to be careful about how you drop blocks down. I don't think this is one of those times. Oh, and blocks... Oh, I'll be down. Oh, right, you can shoot out your tongue. And that's how you collect... Uh, so uh, we're Yoshis. Pretty much. We're Yoshi Pac-Man. If, if Yoshi Pac-Man was made by, like, H.G. Wells or something. And this... Yeah, the, the game has tips for no real reason sometimes. Because it assumes this is our first playthrough, even though it's not. But you can eat those, like, water wart kind of things, and it... They pop and fill with water. I think in this form you basically have to drop rocks and things to kill them. So we, we can't fire. If you wanna go to... Why don't we both do that? Go up! <laughs> yeah, just keep going. As long as we don't both... Whoa. <laughs> Why did it spawn me in the rock? I think in these levels you ever get a diamond inside the pink junk, so I don't think you ever need to dig through all of it. Uh, I might be wrong about that though. Ow, oh, nope, nope, bad. With this stuff, what you want to do is focus on one region and then eliminate the others because it uh, you can contain it a lot better that way. If you d remove all of them, I believe it completely stops spawning. Yeah, it does. So that's good. Note that unlike the pink stuff, the dirt very often hides um, gems. You do want to destroy every block of dirt that you possibly can. Which is slightly annoying sometimes, but whatever. Yeah, with this place, we want, what we want to do is open that uh, valve at the top there. Ow, to drop Summer. water. There's water up here. I died. Uh oh. Also, once you're underwater, you can fire... Aww. You can fire infinite missiles, but it doesn't matter if you get... take physical contact damage, because that kills you instantly. We don't really need to kill all these eggs. Just speed run through it. 
think. No! Ow. Don't die ow, through ow. it. Ow. I had to save one of the guys. You know, the camera angle does sort of focus on Ooh. one or the other. I think it's actually kind of random which one of us it focuses on. It can be kind of annoying at times. Oh, and when you kill more stuff at once, you, um... Damn it. When did you <laughs> die? Uh, I died trying to get to the water. Uh, because um, acid. When you kill stuff, like, in a very quick time, you get combos, which releases more star stuff. Uh, which can give you more one-ups. Generally, unless you're having, unless you're killing lots of little, little spacemen, it's not a big deal. Ah, um, uh, some of. Um, let's retry the map. I don't want. I think it's just the world. Maybe the map. Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. That's what happens when I accidentally shoot something I shouldn't. It's definitely possible to accidentally shoot the little guys, um, but with a few exceptions, it's generally not too big of a risk. Um, at least not after you know where people are. When you blind fire into areas, uh, it's entirely possible to accidentally hit the little guys. You're pretty much gonna get poisoned in this section. Ow. Ow. Oh. Uh, I somehow didn't get poisoned here. But yeah, uh, so when there's a bunch of enemies in a group like this, you get max combo, and then every enemy you kill drops a one-up and a bunch of stars. Just don't die. Oh, you're still not... Holy shit! I just <laughs> came back just in time. <laughs> I didn't realize you were still gone. Um, what's this saying? Oh, yeah, there's one... There's one achievement where... I like how it like swallows the water through peristalsis instead of just doing flowing now. Um, there's one achievement where you need to gear up a whole bunch of stars in one spin. Uh, I'm pretty sure I still have all the achievements. I might not have the one for 100% in the game. I played before, so I have most of them. What's a little. F Game fun fact, when you're firing missiles, it pushes you back a little bit. So you gotta be aware when you're... Munch time! Oh, the Hungry The Hungry Seed's kind of interesting, because it, um... Uh, it limits your movement to four directions. And generally, it's, uh... Four directions, and you can't always get close to the wall. Yeah. Where, usually, you have free dual-stick shooter controls. Um, oh, right. Fairly often... Oh. I was supposed to wait a bit and then they would have got squished. I might have trapped you. Oh, no, I haven't. Often enemies will spawn to, like, chase you, sort of like that, and you'll have to think quick, you know, find some way to get rid of them or outrun them. The game has really good pacing in lots of areas. It's a very deliberate design. I was looking at the wrong guy. Also, very not color friendly, um, color or not color blind friendly um, character choices. Mm -hmm. I was playing this game with a friend who's uh, red green color blind. He had a lot of trouble discerning which one he was. If there were blue and yellow or blue, ouch, pretty ouch. much blue and anything else will generally work. Blue and anything but purple will work for most color blind people. Um, this particular color scheme, not so much. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Oh, um... There we go. I also like the sound it makes when we're mm. going around. I think we're gonna drop that one. Yeah, while we eat through... Drop that one. Um, we wanna be... Actually, yeah, yeah. Primordial ooze, hmm. Delicious. 
Firepower? Oh, you mean lava? Ow. Oh, I'm just gonna munch those and back off. There we go. Suck a rock. Trying to not Same crush game. myself. Crushing yourself is generally bad. Well, the, the music in this is really good. All of the Pixel Junk games have really good music, really cool visuals, and solid gameplay. They're all really good. I love. I just love all the Pixel Junk stuff. Water Ahoy. Oh, right. You can do a dash when you're um, spinning, if you press R3 in. I generally don't use it, because I never remember it's there, but uh, it can be useful in a few situations. Sometimes you can save yourself a lot of unnecessary trouble by killing all the eggs. Also, sometimes eggs will be behind walls and you can't seem to shoot them with your normal shot. Um, if you just use the homing missiles, you can kill them, because the homing missiles do AoE on impact. These are some of the enemies that I mentioned before that explode into lava when I die. So I have to be very careful with those. And lava is an instant kill, so these guys are very nasty. And that's part of why there's lava. There's, there will usually be water around these guys. Uh oh. Kill them both, you asshole. Oh, well, I'll kill myself. I don't want to play with their bodies. It's not disturbing. Not at all. I do love the music though. Yeah, the music's really good. Fantastic music. No bad eggs. And they all have Stop. different music. Um, Stop. The music all ha has a different feel in all of the different um, Pixel Junk games, and this one's very upbeat and funky. And Still then, love Eden for its music. Yeah, Eden is very it. calming and surreal. I really love Eden's music. Um, Which is why I bought the soundtrack. Yeah, and the um, and Eden's music is sort of. A saving, gra a saving grace for what can be very frustrating. Like, it's just very calming, and so, um, like the game, the gameplay can be frustrating sometimes, but the music just sort of calms you back down. Plus, the visuals are awesome. It's just, I don't shoot. Before I forget, there's a diamond down here. Uh, go in the water. Oh, you're using missiles. That's why. I was wondering how you're managing to take damage down here. It's the easiest way to clear them all out, though. Yeah. Okay. Um, you stay here, I will just go and grab these guys. Um, when you're when you're playing two player co op, sometimes it's just better for somebody to go in Rambo style and save everybody without firing a shot. It's not actually very Rambo. Apparently, um, they don't like water very much. No, they, it's an instant kill to any lava based enemy. Um, it's actually an instant kill lots of stuff. But yeah, we want to keep spamming those in. The these things are surprisingly fun. The water fruit because you can drag them around. Like it's not just a source of water. You can move it around and drop it wherever you want, and they keep spawning, so you can, like... They're also lava fruits, so you can spawn lava in lots of places, and it's pretty cool. Bad things happen when we spawn lava fruits, though. Yes, but it's Terrible, fun. terrible things. It's still worth it. Insert sexual joke here about that opening. I don't see anything sexual about that opening at all. Oh, okay. Maybe it's just me. Yeah, enemies pretty much always spawn when you think you're good. Like, when the final door opens, um, you can pretty much always bet there's going to be enemies that spawn on your way back. Suck water! And their levels are always almost laid out, so there'll be a little bit of a trip back to the exit. Like, you'll pass the exit on your way to get the last dude. 
and then you'll get him. Do we actually get all the perfect rescue? Nope. Not all the gems. Huh. Yeah, the gems can be tricky. Oh, One. we're so close. 